Hi, I'm Valerie Getch from Valerie's Photo Channel, creator of Taking Family Portraits Like a Pro online video course. In this Lightroom tutorial, I want to show you how the Hue, Saturation, and Luminance panel gives you full control over the colors in your image. But before we get started, if you want to learn more about my Family Portrait course for beginners and get a big discount, click below. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, click up top. The HSL panel is great for fine-tuning the individual colors in your image. If you want to pump up just the blues, for instance, or change the tone of a color, this is the panel to use. In the Develop module, I'll show you an easy way to work with the HSL sliders to individually adjust the colors in your image. So let's get started. I'm in the Develop module, and this is the image I want to work on. First, I'll make some basic adjustments, starting with the white balance. So I'm going to take the white balance selector here, and I'm going to click on his sneakers, since it's a nice neutral gray. And that will just um, give a little bit of warmth to the white balance. And then next, I'm going to go to uh, the whites and set the white point. I'm going to hold down the Alt key and move the slider to the right until I just start to see some color. And then I'm going to back down. And then I'm going to do the same thing with the blacks. Hold down the Alt key and drag to the left until I start seeing some color. And I'm going to go a little bit further in for the blacks. And then I have my black point set. Now I could add a little vibrance or saturation if I wanted to pump up the colors in this image. Vibrance works on the mid-tones. It sometimes it, it may, may affect too much and you might not want all of the colors pumped up. You may only want certain colors. So I'm just going to pop that back down, um, set it, reset it to zero. And saturation affects all of the colors in the image and especially with people, you have to be really careful or you can end up with some kind of bizarre looking color uh, oversaturation. So let's reset that and go down to the HSL panel here. Now the HSL panel it allows you to uh, adjust individual colors. You, the hue is the actual color tone of the image while saturation deals with the intensity of a certain color and luminance is the brightness and darkness of a specific color in your image. And you can either have one panel, the, the luminance, the saturation, or the hue open. You can have one of them open at a time. Or if you click all, you can have them all open. I personally prefer to work just with one at a time. Now, I also want to show you that there is this tab here for color. And it is basically the same thing, just in a different format. You have your colors up here, and you have your hue, saturation, and, and luminance sliders here. So let's go back to the HSL panel. Now let's look at the background here. We've got a green, uh, green bushes in the background. So if we want to maybe make those bushes a little bit greener, we could move the green slider to the right. And if we want to make them less green, maybe over, go over to the yellow side, we would drag it to the left. So that's how it affects the overall tone of anything green in the image. So I'm just going to reset this by click, double clicking on the green. And then I'm going to show you another way to do this because it's, you're, you're a little bit hit and miss or a little bit guessing when you just try to pull one slider at a time. Because oftentimes there's more than one color in a particular area. Um, for example, you might see some yellow. These look like there uh, are some yellow tones here. So another way of perhaps getting a more natural look is to use the selector tool pointer here and go into your area that you want to change. And then I'm, it, in order to make this greener, I'm going to drag up. And you can see that in addition to the green slider moving, you can see that some yellow is moving. So that helps give it maybe a more natural look. Now let's go over to saturation. And let's say we want to make his jeans a little bit bluer, a little bit more intense, uh, intensify the blue. So I'm going to uh, move the selector into his jeans and to 
get intensify the effect I'm going to drag up and you can see that in addition to the purple slider or the blue slider the purple is moving as well because there is some purple in this blue so it's only affecting the blue uh, the blues and the purples in the picture now let's look over at luminance and maybe I want to make his jeans um, maybe a little bit darker as well so I can take my selector and I'm going to drag down in order to make them darker and you can see the purple uh, value is affected as well now going over to his uh, red shirt let's go over to saturation and if I want to make his shirt redder then I can click over and select on the red in the shirt and I would want to drag up to make his shirt redder and you can see that there's also a little bit of orange there now watch what happens when I go too far can you see his lips are kind of turning red and I'm just gonna pull this further up to accentuate it for a second now you can see redness on his on his uh, cheeks his nose and especially his lips so you want to be very careful with reds when you're dealing with faces and so I'm going to back off on that maybe to about maybe about to 2022 I think we can get away with that and then I want to show you um, the orange orange is something that's useful when you want to work with skin tones um, for ex but you also want to be very careful so if you were adjusting orange in this picture you would want to be very careful about how far you go so if I just drag the orange slider way up okay he now he's got one of those faux tans so you want to be a little careful if you're working with orange but if you do want to give him maybe just a little bit more color in his skin then I could just go over here and drag in his skin drag up a little and just move the orange up maybe maybe about so just to give him a little bit of nice color and then I'll show you the before and the after I'm just going to turn off the color adjustments here and turn them back on so that's how you work with a hue saturation and luminance panels so you can see how useful the HSL sliders can be but I want to emphasize that when you adjust one color it affects every instance of that color in the image so as I showed you in my example if you make something redder like a shirt remember that other red in the image will be affected too like a person's lips and skin or if you're making a sky bluer and if you have someone in blue jeans in the picture it could make the jeans look a little bit unnatural so a workaround for that would be to take your adjustment brush and make a local adjustment to the item that went too saturated or too dark or too light well that wraps up another Lightroom tutorial please subscribe to my channel to get more free tutorials and hit the like button if you found this one helpful thanks a lot hi I'm Valerie Getch do too many of your family photos look like this or like this? How would you like your photos to look more like this or maybe this? My new Taking Family Portraits Like a Pro online video course for beginners will show you how to take your photos from blah to amazing and you don't need a bunch of expensive equipment. I'll show you how to choose the right lens, give you tips on lighting, posing, backgrounds and camera settings to capture beautiful portraits. And then I'll show you how to enhance your photos using Adobe Lightroom. Click here to learn more and get a coupon for special savings.